Hi, my name is Robin Tour and I'm going to show you how to connect through to a secured website using an Arduino ESP32 um, setup. So basically, um, there is already a, uh, uh, a library that you bring in and it's called Wi-Fi Se Client Secure, uh, which is described here, uh, and which has um, a really good example of uh, how we're going to code for that. Um, I'm just going to see pop up here, uh, and basically this is what you do. It, it ex explains uh, how to connect to the the website. Uh, the only problem being is it says that you need to include a um, a certificate for the website that you're connecting to, but is very light in its documentation in terms of how you get this and and where it comes from. Uh, it says you can use an X509 certificate if you want, but again, not much detail there. So I mean, this is the purpose of this video is to kind of walk you through getting that information. Okay, so uh, in fact, what we're going to look at uh, uh, in the next few minutes is uh, we're going to how to get the certificate. Uh, there's two approaches. One, you can do it uh, very quickly through Chrome, uh, but it doesn't always work, and it doesn't always give you the right certificate. And then I'm going to show you another way um, using a program called OpenSSL uh, that will work and will get you the certificate that you need. Um, it's a little more in detail, though. Um, so um, uh, I'll also show you how to integrate it into your uh, into your on, um, your um, Arduino project, uh, and I'm going to assume that you have access to or you, you've already installed uh, something to do uh, something like an unzip program. So zip seven is uh, is a good one if you don't have one, uh, and uh, some e uh, editor uh, better than Microsoft WordPad. So Nerp Notepad plus plus is the one I'm going to be using today. It, both of these are free, and if you don't have them, I'd uh, encourage you to get them uh, because they're really great, uh, but uh, most people probably have them. Uh, I'm not going to assume that you have this open SSL program, uh, which is really at the heart of what we're going to look at today. Um, so this is where you can download it from, though, and I'll, I'll provide a link to this in the, in the notes below. Okay, so um, without further ado, let's go take a look at uh, a certificate here uh, just on Chrome. So uh, one that I'm interested in for a, a project I wrote uh, is uh, from Pushbull, and there, there it is there. That's, that's the site I want to connect to. And um, how I would get a certificate uh, uh, through Chrome, would be I just click on this uh, little uh, lock here, click on Certificates, click on Detail, click on Copy to File, it starts a little wizard, choose this option here next give it a file location so uh, okay uh, make sure that that's on my desktop yep okay nope da, da, da. and we click next finish says it's done great good let's go look at it there it is there uh, if I was to open it I'm going to open it with notepad here you know there's the certificate uh, unfortunately uh, for my purposes that's the wrong one um, the other problem we're going to run into with uh, Chrome is that not all sites are going to be able to uh, work that way so another uh, one I'm interested in is HTTPS uh, dot Zebra dot. Okay, so that site exists, and uh, but when I try to browse to it, it says it doesn't. So that's that's really not going to be very helpful, and I won't be able to click on the lock and do the export. So I'm going to show you another way uh, to uh, get at that information, and it involves this um, this program Open SSL. So Open SSL, you can look out up. Uh, uh, just Google it and find it. Uh, it's, a, it's a great little project. It um, has kind of everything you need to get at this um, at this information. But the 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 the, the guys that produce this actually let me just go there. Uh, we'll find it here quickly. Um, so it's 
probably not it. Uh, maybe it's it. Oh, here it is. Okay, there it is there. Um, what they do is they give you the source code, but they don't give you the um, the executable code, the code that you need to run on your, say, Windows machine. So um, that's probably not great for everybody. So uh, what we probably want is just a, um, a program that we can download. So these guys here, uh, Fire uh, Daemon, uh, who I've actually worked with before and uh, are... Um, been around for quite a while. Um, have a uh, website where you can just download the executable. So I'm going to just download the executable, and it's going to download it into a um, a, um, a zip file. So let me just go look at that. Cut. All right. So what we're going to do then is we're going to make a new. Um, new folder here on our desktop. I'm going to put the uh, downloaded file there and we're going to unzip it. Here I'm using the one zip. Okay. And then we're going to go find where the executable is. So um, here, binary, and after a few drill downs, there it is there. That's the one we want. So um, how I'm going to access that then is I'm going to open up a uh, command prompt. So uh, that's by holding down the Windows key on your computer and pressing R, having that come up and just type in CMD. And there it is. So I'm going to uh, change my directory so that I'm pointing to this directory here. So I'm going to do CD slash and that puts it back to the root directory and I click here and I copy that and I paste it in there so um, paste and then I'm going to go here I'm going to cd space quote um, so that changes me so if I look at uh, this there's all these files here so the one I'm op interested in is this open s SSL program. So uh, what we're going to do then is we're going to issue a command to get at the certificate. So um, the the program I wrote actually has the command in it. So I'm going to pull it up here. Um, so this it's a this is a program to uh, produce a, a kind of a scrolling message uh, on a um, on a um, uh, a display that you can build. Anyways, that's not what the program is this is about. It's about this. So here's the command we're going to run. Okay, so let me just copy this. Okay, copy. All right, so CLS clears the screen. Okay, so um, I'm going to paste that command in there. Okay, open SSL, S clients, show certs, connect api pushbullet.com that's the where the where i want the certificate from and 443 that's a secured port so i'm just going to press enter and there it is so there's my answer okay and as you can see there are two certificates here uh, let me make this a little bit bigger if we can uh, and it's actually the second one that I'm interested in. Uh, I'm not sure what Google uh, responded with. It was probably the first one here, but uh, it's the second one that I'm interested in. So to get that, um, I just have to uh, click here, say Edit Mark, and then I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to drag to there, to the here, and then I'm going to say uh, Edit copy and there that's in your that's in your clipboard um, now while I'm here and before I forget I just want to show you um, the um, I typed in the word exit there just to get out of that thing okay and so that's CLS so I'm going to just show you um, here's another little uh, okay sorry and go back here. You need that command again. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a little mixed up with my copies and paste. So let me just uh, put.
put that, uh, I pasted in, sorry, I copied the certificate here, but so I'm just going to plop it there for the second. Okay, I'll save it, and then I just want to, sorry, I'm bumping around here a bit. Uh, I just want to go back uh, here to this program, get that command again, copy it in. Um, mm -hmm. Is copy. I actually use a, a, a program called Ditto, which is really cool. It lets you manage my, uh, your uh, your clipboard, uh, but I don't want to bring it up because then you'll see maybe some passwords I got uh, you got uh, stored in it. So, anyways, um, here's the same program that we just ran, uh, same website. Uh, and uh, if I just hit enter, it would uh, go do the same thing. I just wanted to show you though, this was the other website that uh, when I went to Chrome, I tried to get into, uh, but it said it didn't exist. So I'm gonna just press enter there. And in fact, it does exist. <laughs> in fact, uh, oh, there's my phone, just a second. You know what, okay, turn that off. Hope they don't call again. Okay, so uh, so you can uh, get the, a certificate out of there too. So the one, however, that we're interested in uh, is uh, is the one that we saved here, and I'm just going to show you how to get that into your Arduino project really quickly. Um, let me just uh, get this guy up there. Okay. Here's my phone again. So this is the format that we need. So let me just copy this format here. Uh, okay, close that down. We'll throw that in there. Kind of that's that's what we're after here. So um, and let me save this because I'm opening it in in not in uh, Notepad plus plus, but Notepad. So let me open it up in Notepad plus 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 because it's really easy. So what I need to do is I need to um, uh, surround the um, the you know the code with uh, you know uh, these pl these uh, quotes on this side and these slash n uh, quote uh, slashes on the back end here. So um, to do that quickly, um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, actually I'm just going to take this first line and I'm going to copy it here. I'm going to take this second line and I'm going to copy it here. Um, but in terms of getting all these guys here, um, what I'm going to actually do is with Notepad, I'm going to hold down the Alt key, the uh, left Alt key, and I'm just going to uh, go like that, drag it down so there's a thin line there. And then I'm going to let go of the mouse and let go of the Alt key. And I'm just going to type in slash and quote space slash. And uh, just click over here. And uh, that saved me from uh, doing that multiple times. And so the same thing over on this side. Uh, hold down the Alt key. Bring that down that far. Let go of the, t the Alt key and the mouse. Uh, and type in space, 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 uh, uh, kind of a quote there. And then click away, and I'm all done. So uh, that's, how, uh, that's how you can bring it in to your program. So you just copy that and paste it into your program, and you might want to change your variable name there. Anyway, so uh, that's it. That's all I really wanted to show you, I believe. Let me just check here. Uh, we've seen how to do it with Chrome. We've seen how to do it with uh, SSL. Uh, we've seen how to integrate it into your uh, Android app. Here are, the, uh, here are the links that you may be interested in. Uh, again, I'll include those at the bottom. Hope this has been of uh, good use to you. And uh, I've got a call to uh, look up and see uh, uh, who called me. So uh, thanks for your time.